Hi Capricorn and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to read for you and that other person and that other person might be a friend, family member, uh, it could be a significant other, uh, a person of interest, uh, even a spouse of some sort. So there you go. So uh, that being said, we're going to see what wants to come out. It'll be from September 16th through the 30th. And as you well know, that energies, uh, you know, are fluid. So it might happen a little before, it might have well after. It might happen well after, I should say. <laughs> my mind is working faster than my mouth here. Okay. So, uh, but yes, so there. that's what we're looking at here. So this will be for all Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs. It is a general read so that goes uh, that goes without saying that uh, if you'd like a personal read uh, go to the guidedintuitive.com and we will get you set up over there so thank you all that have been uh, purchasing your uh, reads I'm so grateful for that we also have a new session that I will continue to announce uh, that is called beyond the read uh, and that uh, rids of any limiting emotions uh, and beliefs uh, that might be holding you back and kind of weighing you down a little bit. And what we want to do is to clear those things out so you can move forward much faster on your journey uh, with a lot more clarity, enthusiasm, and uh, helps you reach your desires much faster. So, uh, all right. So if you are interested in that, click the link that's above here and do check us out. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what's in store for you, okay? Uh, I'm excited to do this for you. Um, I know a few Capricorns, so I'm interested to see what is in store for them, okay? Uh, most importantly for you, we're going to use a different uh, version of a couple different cards here. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with, well, where did, where did I put the deck? Here it is. Okay, gotcha. Okay. I want to start with uh, this particular deck. I'm going to actually use... Um, the peace cards to start off with and kind of get where your overall situation is at this time. All right. So let's see what that is for you, Capricorn. What is that for you? Here's the first card. So we've got nice. So Capricorn, you've got a new beginning. Okay. So something's taking place right now that is offering you a brand new beginning. Now it could be in a relationship. It could be just in life overall that you've decided to have some sort of new beginning and you're real excited and you're ready for this to uh, get started. Right. So it can actually flourish. Right. So this is quite beautiful. So you've got a new beginning in a situation. Uh, in a, uh, you know, as it pertains to your love life, perhaps, uh, as it pertains to work or as it pertains just overall to your life. Uh, that's what I see here. So with these new beginnings, it does give you opportunity uh, to truly move forward and uh, to live the life that you always wanted to live. So I really feel that maybe something, uh, uh, a decision was made of some sort uh, that has, uh, perhaps put an end to something to begin anew. And it's almost as if that um, you have been inspired by someone, maybe it's someone close to you that you've been talking to, um, but that's what I see. But I do feel when I clarify the new beginning, I get the Page of Swords. Uh, could be a, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, uh, but this person is also on some sort of new beginning too. And and uh, kind of going through that same path. Uh, but I really feel that um, you are really on this brand new beginning of page and no longer are you going to uh, feel left out, uh, you know, perhaps uh, uh, in, uh, you know, in poverty or feel left out. And perhaps that you're actually dealing with someone and, uh, you know, perhaps uh, helping someone so they don't feel left out uh, in their new beginning. And hence that what happens when you help someone else on a new beginning you might realize that you yourself, Capricorn, are ready for a new beginning. And that is exactly why I see this here. So I, I think this is quite beautiful. So ready to flourish, ready to move out of, you know, feeling this way. This could just be a sense of feeling this way, a sense of lack in your life, okay? But you're on this new beginning, so this is pretty exciting here. Yeah, you are walking away from something emotional, Capricorn, that wasn't serving you, okay? It took a lot of guts to do. Okay. I will want to, I do want to let you know that it took a lot of guts to do this, but you knew deep inside Capricorn, deep inside your heart, that this was the best decision emotionally for you to feel emotionally good about the situation. You, you, it's not like you just made a quick decision. This has been going on for a very, very long time, but I feel that you finally make the decision to make that change and walk away from something 
that wasn't emotionally serving you. So note your comments below, guys. Um, you know, there's just, I think there was too many things that were hidden and you know, uh, it was in your best interest to walk away, at least in your heart of hearts, you were feeling that, okay? And that's what leads you, that's what led you to move forward on this new beginning. So note your comments below, this is quite interesting. Now let's take a look at this other person in terms of this situation, uh, relationship, or whatever seems to pop out. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this kind of define itself uh, because I want you to know that it just doesn't happen to be another person we're going to focus on that, but it could be a situation because a lot of you have actually mentioned in your comments that actually this was a situation for me. You know, this was, uh, you know, it was my work, in fact. So uh, let it be what it is. You're going to know best, you know, inside on what your soul, what your intuition is telling you. And that's going to make you check in and think, ah, this resonates with me in this way. Okay. So just let it, let it flow. All right. And let it work with you on that. Uh, there's no boundaries there. All right. So let's take a look at this other person. Uh, what is that here for them? Oh, patience. Okay, interesting. So they're getting the card of patience. So maybe in this situation that this person needs to have a little bit more patience in the situation. Uh, and um, they're really working hard in terms of, uh, of trying to have a lot more patience. So this is beautiful. And maybe that, uh, you know, that there is, um, maybe that there is some sort of, of issue with this other person that, that they've been really mulling over for a very, very, very long time. Okay. And uh, that's kind of what I see. It's, it's about, you know, not being in a huge hurry. Okay. And uh, this is, you know, having all the time to reach their destination. Okay. But this person is actually saving the journey and also patience in ridding of old patterns, okay? Ridding of old patterns that, uh, and, and, and that have, um, and, 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 and needing to rewire them, okay? To reweave them, okay? Uh, and, and, and that's what seems to be coming about. So it's like, um, and, it's not about rushing something, okay? Time is not the master of your life, of your journey, okay? And that's what is important for this other person to kind of take heed and what I seek be coming through is that um, it's it's time for them to be patient, okay? Um, uh, and, and, and your mind is actually going to answer, uh, you know, most of the questions that you have for this person on this side, if they learn to relax, they learn to step back and they learn to have a little bit more patience with themselves. Okay. So that's what I see here. Now, now keep in mind that you might resonate with one side more than the other. So feel free to reverse the messages as there too. Okay. But that's what I see coming through. So now let me clarify with some of the tarot and see what wants to come out. Okay. I want to see what wants to come out here. This really wanted to come out. Okay. This is interesting. Because on this side, we've got one person that has seen something that didn't work out emotionally. And then on your side, Capricorn, that I've been focusing on, I've seen someone walking away and someone feeling disappointed. Okay, so this might be in a relationship or a situation. Note your comments below. But they're disappointed about something that didn't work out. Uh, and um, that's what their focus is on. But they aren't looking to see... Uh, uh, what is uh, what can be the silver lining of the situation? It might not be uh, the the uh, something that they want to focus on right now because they might just might be new and fresh for them. I'm just saying, uh, so that might relate to some of you. But it might be new and fresh and still kind of sensitive to the heart and to the soul and to the emotions. So it's still about working through them. You don't want to just bury the emotions and move forward and you know turn around and get the other cups. This does sometimes, and I will say this because I'm feeling this right now, take some time to look at why this happened, what led to this, 
and how this person wants to now move forward and utilize the other cups behind them okay sometimes it does take a reflection you know patience you know just like i've mentioned so that's quite interesting and fives it's a five card fives are about change okay so working through the emotion not bearing the emotions uh is going to be key for this person over here and anything else that wants to clarify over here yes look at the death death card came out for this person so yes obviously there was some sort of loss that makes sense in the other, other cards there so sometimes when you put an end to something right it's having patience uh this is about having patience with your emotions that something has come to the end okay so that's what's going on on this side now let's take a look even further because what i want to pull out is um is this is the situation now right so let's take a look at where the relationship or situation is headed and then we're going to start with you capricorn okay let's take a look at what that is where the relationship is headed gateway wow this is going to open up a whole new gateway the decision that you made capricorn in you know this new beginning that we got here uh is opening up this brand new gateway for you it is leading you on a journey. This is so beautiful. I almost feel like that you are this little bird here. You see this little bird and it's kind of moving up in a heart and moving forward. Looking forward to this beautiful journey of the heart and of the soul to move forward. And um, and, and this is something that uh, is, is uh, unknown in some respect because you do see the moon in here as well. But I think if you utilize your highest, your, your third eye and your perception, it's going to allow you to really move forward uh, with some assistance from, from your guide, okay? From source, whatever that is for you. So this is actually quite beautiful. Wow, I love this. And uh, it's just a, a new opportunity is opening up for you. You see the door that that new opportunity is opening up. It's going to bring some some shine and some light into what was once hidden before okay because it's becoming closer and closer you've got the moon and i almost feel that you got the like the it's it's becoming clear and almost like that's the sun and then the stars and there's a lot more light that's shining on this opportunity for you to open the door uh to what was the root cause of the situation uh, but also a new door for a new beginning so this is so beautiful gosh this is so great so this gateway is is where the relationship is headed this means is it's a new gateway could be a new gateway in terms of this other person or in this situation you're going to be navigating a new gateway a different way on your journey right a different path for your journey um, it is navigating a new gateway in this relationship. What was maybe has ended is going to open up a new gateway. Maybe now instead of romantic, it will now be friendship, okay? Or vice versa, okay? So that's something, uh, you know, to think about. So uh, when I clarify the gateway, let's see what wants to come up. We've got the star card. You might have an Aquarian in your life, okay? Uh, other than that, if this is not the case, you are taking on this healing energy. Maybe it's a healing energy of an Aquarian, or you're, again, you're just taking on this energy in terms of balancing yourself, your emotions, uh, you know, your, your mind, body, and soul, right? And there we go with that sun again and the stars, a, a, a theme that, that talks about in this gateway. You're being so guided in this process, right? The star, the sun is shining on you. The stars are giving you the light that's going to be necessary to open up the door for this brand new beginning and it's blue here which talks about communication so maybe the communication has already taken place and now it's about everything else processing a little bit right so that's what i'm seeing here wow how beautiful let's take a look at this other person and take a look at where the relationship is headed for this other person okay here we go here what does that look like abundance nice wow now this is interesting. So that when one thing comes to an end, there is a significant amount of abundance uh, that comes through. It's you know it and 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 something has to end for this to actually you know take place. So maybe that putting an end to something has led to just incredible abundance. Uh, you know, there is a lot of love here. There's a lot of a lot of love, right? A lot of the flowers are blooming, uh, and you know, there's that golden, really warmth of that reflective light there that is 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 really providing warmth to your heart. 
So the abundance is just reminding yourself about how abundant that you really, really are. Or this other person is just understanding how abundant that they really, really are. And, uh, you know, and how blessed and of, 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 of all the things, maybe memories that you've shared, uh, opportunities that you've had together, what you've worked hard together. There is an abundance that had been created here, right? But you do feel like there, this, if, if this other person on this side is actually feeling a lot more abundance uh, in their life, you know, even considering, right? It's like there's peace here. There's, there's some sort of peace, okay? And that's what I'm seeing, which is quite interesting. Yeah. So it's like uh, there is support that this person has through this significant challenge that's taking place for them. Okay. And that's what I'm seeing here. There is significant love around. Okay. Uh, and maybe there is a some sort of conflict uh, that uh, had happened before. But this is saying is uh, that... Peace and abundance is going to follow uh, what has ended previously, okay? And that's what this wants, this card wants to let you know, okay? Um, so put the worry aside, okay? This is about the universe being so limitless and you are being a part of that, at that limitless opportunity for abundance in your life. And so for this other person, it's actually a really, really good reminder uh, that, that abundance is definitely there and is available. Okay. So that's what this is talking about. Right. And uh, um, really important to, for this person to remember that they've got a really bright future ahead of themselves. Okay. That there is a, uh, there is more than enough that is surrounding them, okay? So that's what I see that's coming through over there, okay? Now, when I go to clarify it, let's see what wants to come up, okay? Let's see what wants to come up for them, okay? So what is that there for the abundance? Yeah, it's about them balancing two different things uh, in their life. Now, it could just be their current, uh, maybe, it's, it's, maybe it's work and life, maybe it is... Uh, Balancing two things, two people, uh, you know, two paths at this particular moment that are, you know, at this particular moment. Because it's in that balancing act, even though that there's kind of been some sort of death. The, the two is about duality. This just means that that duality brought a lot of abundance. Um, but then with that abundance, um, you know, that now that it's time to move forward in calmer waters, okay? And so that's what is happening over here. It's time to move forward. It looks like they're taking someone with them as well. Uh, maybe it could be the rest of the family of some sort, but it's about having calmer waters. Yeah, there was perhaps maybe a third party situation or, or just heartbreak. Okay, just heartbreak. Maybe in the past there have been some situations, but there had been some heartbreak in the past. Uh, and uh, it just maybe was something that you couldn't, you know, move on from. Yeah, and it affected the family life. And this is about having the the... The heartbreak, this is, a, this is a ten of pentacles. So right after the heartbreak, um, this is about that happy family life and that type of thing. So it could be that a relationship or a marriage has been, uh, has been, um, uh, has gone through some sort of separation, some sort of, uh, of, of divorce of some sort. That's kind of what I'm seeing over here. How interesting. Yeah. And uh, if you relate to this, there is someone that is offering a cup of love. Now this could be to each other. Uh, it could have been from the past, but there is a couple of Cancer Scorpio Pisces that uh, might be uh, uh, in the play here. Um, but it's almost as if maybe uh, someone was offering a cup of love to someone else that led to heartbreak and, and hence uh, had been a little sneaky. Okay, I'm just saying. So that's what kind of came about. Now, it could be the fact that this other person is, uh, you know, that led to heartbreak because someone was a little sneaky and, and, and secretive. Okay, um, but that's what I see coming through. But this, but it's about, I really truly think that this person now is taking control and they're cutting things out that are no longer serving them. Now, this could be, uh, you might be involved with, the Gem, with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius of some sort. Uh, but this person, you might be taking on this energy, this other person is, or if you relate to this side. Um, but what I see is that someone's really cutting something out or taking on the energy and cutting things out and now moving forward, okay, with, with a lot more grace or has someone in their life that's doing that, okay? So that's what I see. What's the overall outcome of the situation? Let's see what wants to come through here. Um, 
Yeah, let's see what the outcome is, okay? Start with you, Capricorn. What is that here? Wow, this is beautiful. This is about accepting you and all the beauty that you are, your very, your very unique self and all that you have to offer the world. So this is about really, truly accepting who you are, not being anyone else, not having any... Uh, you know, not focusing on any envy of any sort, but being the, your now true, original, unique, authentic self, okay? And all of your quirks and everything. So this is what is really coming up here. This is beautiful. So this is acceptance of the situation. Also could be acceptance of yourself, right? And when you do that, it brings significant growth. You see all that green that is around her. It's so beautiful, right? She's like uh, surrounded by Mother Nature as well and uh, just really basking in her own uniqueness and, 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 and totally flourishing, you know, in the process. So um, just accepting, uh, you know, really just accepting what, uh, um, you know, the situation at hand, whatever had happened. And, um, and you know, I think it's just, uh, it, it's, it's all about uh, you change the world by truly being yourself. Capricorn, you truly do, okay? So that's what I see coming through here for you, okay? Uh, don't focus on things of what had, coulda, woulda, shoulda been. This is saying not to, not to focus on those things anymore, okay? Don't focus on those things, okay? Uh, have a lot of self-love and really rejoice uh, in the beautiful being that you are at this time. And really embrace your beauty and... Uh, and, 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 and uh, know that you have, as you move forward on this new beginning, a beautiful, beautiful, bright future that's coming away. Okay? All right? So that's what I see coming through. You have a very bright future. So what is the outcome for this other person? Let's see what that is. Here we go. Transformation. Wow. So this other person is going through some, you know, obviously some sort of transformation because obviously something has taken place, something has ended, and now it's about transformation. Transforming into someone that is 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 different because of the new realization. Uh, a next level up in that journey has brought a new realization. And that transformation won't allow them to go back to where they were before because they have been uh, enlightened in some way, okay? And that knowledge and that insight that they have gained through this process allowed them to step up and be a stronger person and to be more of a solid tree, right, moving forward. But yeah, that's what's coming over here. This is about, uh, this is about totally, totally transforming, okay? And it's about being malleable, you know, too, about, about, uh, it, it like just like the wind as it moves through the trees and it, and it kind of tosses the leaves a little bit that's kind of how this person is being kind of going through that transformation it's actually molding them and moving them and actually turning them in to something that is even more beautiful than it ever was before do you see how the camera just clicked like that it's so queer it's so so oh my gosh it's it's it's, it's almost cryptic it's kind of crazy but that's what I, it, it's almost as if like it's like you've transformed and it's been like that, right? And so it's kind of like that quick magic little bleep stop or whatever. So it was kind of weird, but I don't know if you saw that, but that's what I see coming through here. So let me do this. Let me go close it here on what it is that you want to say to this person and what the other person wants to say to you. So what you want to say to this person, here we go. All I want is for you to listen to me with an open heart. Okay. All right, so this is quite beautiful. What a beautiful way to start a conversation, right? What a beautiful way to honor someone and respect them by just giving them your ear and your undivided attention. Sometimes that is all that is needed in, 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 uh, uh, in the moment, right? In, 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 a, in an important conversation. So that's quite beautiful. What is it that they want to say to you? Here it is. All right, here it is. Your behavior embarrassed me and I'm trying to tell you not to make you feel bad, but so I can feel close to you again. Okay, so maybe there was something that uh, that uh, was done, maybe that this other person perceived uh, was offensive. Maybe, you know, based on maybe their upbringing or whatever that case may be, might resonate with some of you there. Uh, but this is just saying bringing that up is really, really important. Uh, uh, for this other person because the bottom line is they just want to feel close to you again and uh, whatever that looks like, you know, whatever shape or form that might take place, you know, uh, on, on how that uh, uh, comes out. But yeah, that's what I see here. So this is beautiful. So that's what I'm seeing, guys. Uh, so I hope that this resonated with you and I look forward to seeing you in, in the month of October. And until then, namaste.